man, I mean, like when I got into nootropics, my entire life changed. Like my productivity doubled. I was able to induce focus on cue, motivation on cue. I just felt amazing. Anaracetam, oxyracetam, 9-methyl B-carboline. Like the choices are endless. And what you can do if you're stacking effectively, it's incredible. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ryan, and welcome to another podcast. We're going to talk about using nootropics to force productivity, and I'll get into explaining why, but suffice it to say, productivity and the, the desire to work ebbs and flows. It's not always when you want to work, or when you need to work, rather. Like, imagine we could all work when we needed to work, like a lot more would get done, right? And there's, there's periods where you need to work, and you can't force the productivity, and we're going to talk about how nootropics sort of uh, come into that and act as a catalyst to get you to work. In the meantime, what supports this broadcast is a couple epic nootropic products. Number one, the Cortex stack. The Cortex stack is a nootropic stack that I devised six and a half years ago for myself initially. I'd been taking it for about a year on and off. And quite honestly, it, it was it was on the level of the affinals and analogs for me. And then I like had given it to some entrepreneur friends of mine and like, dude, th this is a sick combination. Like, can, can you make this? And I was sort of thinking about the idea of making it a pre-made stack. Anyway, fast forward some time, I turned it into a commercial stack and now ships to 40 countries. It is a very, very powerful stimulant, non-stimulant, motivation, productivity, nootropic stack. Get it at livecortex.com. You could also do auto ship, which gets you Cortex shipped to you automatically at the same time every month for cheaper. And if you're new to Cortex, just do auto ship first. And in the rare event that you don't like it, you can cancel it, but you'll get it cheaper for buying one bottle. If you're new to nootropics, you got to get Nootropics Ground Zero. It's a video course that I created for people that are new to show you the ropes, to give you a framework for how to use Nootropics. I mean, there is a, a logical way to go about formulating and adjusting stacks and then also targeting certain brain states. We teach you a lot of that Nootropics Ground Zero. If you're new, get it at livecortex.com. If you want to ascend to the six-year mark, this is more advanced than, the, than uh, Nootropics Ground Zero, get the Nootropics Masterclass. It's a high-level, information-dense nootropics course that gives you a lot of stacks and a lot of framework and just a lot of takeaways for how to induce states on cue. Uh, last couple things. Listen, if you're a young, middle-aged, or older business person, either corporate on the corporate side or an entrepreneur, and you, you function well but you want to see what that next level is like, work with me. We, we've got consults where essentially for three and a half months or for six months – we work together in sort of a neuroengineering capacity. I mean, this is, make no mistake, this is brain performance engineering through the formulation of very, very high level tailored nootropic formulations that are targeted for your brain and what it is that you have to do. Or if you're a person that's coming off of a pharmaceutical stimulant like Adderall and you just can't function like you used to, but you want that functionality back, look, we can repair the, the dopamine side because that's really what it is, the chemistry, and then level you and then get you to the point where you're, you're functioning levels over that new optimized baseline with proper tailored nootropic sex. Probably what you should have done first before going on the pharmaceutical stimulant. Either work with me for three and a half months or for six. Do that at livecortex.com. Okay. So, yeah, look. I was just doing – I did a Facebook video about this recently. Like when I'm not taking nootropics, like I'm cycling off. Sometimes I'll cycle off for an entire week or more. My productivity ebbs and flows, and I think just generally, even when I am taking nootropics, my productivity ebbs and flows. My my desire to work, like there's all of this stuff that I know I have to do, goals that I've created for myself, but I don't want to do them. Like I'd rather game, or I'd rather hang out with my cat, or I'd rather watch TV and just like, do nothing. Um, in those times, like sometimes I'll use nootropics and then sometimes I'll just go, okay, you know, my productivity is ebbing and flowing right now. I'm, I'm not going to do what it is I don't want to do. But in those places where there is a need to get work done and you do not want to get work done, it, it's really just a matter of changing the brain state. So you can do that at any time. Sometimes I'm just like, eh, I'd rather just chill. I'm not going to do that. But in a lot of cases, I know I just need to change the brain state. So what do you, what do you need in that situation, right? You need energy, brain energy. And, and, and by the way, you can even have brain energy but not be motivated and, and still not work. So you need a positive well-being. Like you, you need a sort of <clears> – <throat> like that feeling when you meditate or things are going really good in your life or you have that really good feeling of like sort of general optimism. 
in that place, you're more likely to be productive. You know, I bet uh, like in the psychological literature, we would, we would find that too. You have to be focused on the outcome. So what is the outcome of my work that I'm about to do? And then have feelings of pleasure about that outcome. Like, like uh, a, an anticipation of reward for getting to the outcome. What is all of that in terms of brain chemistry? That is dopamine centered neurochemistry. Okay, dopamine centered neurochemistry. So let me get into, I'm gonna get into my stacks, like what I would formulate and what I take for myself in these situations where my productivity is ebbing and flowing. I'm not particularly into working, but there is stuff I need to do. So I've got to induce the state on cue of, of all these things, motivation primarily to sit down and work. Let me first generally say, here are the compounds that you would want to use. Number one, modafinil, modafinil. Number two, bromantane. Number three, 9-methyl-B-carbolene. Number four, teacrine. Number five, dynamine. And number six, acetyl-L-carnitine. Acetyl-L-carnitine. Those are six compounds that you would really want to use. And most cases in conjunction with one another, with sort of tailored stacks to get you motivated. So my stacks are the following, and this is what I've been using lately because I'm, I'm doing a whole, um, really creating a subsidiary of Cortex Labs with something that's gonna benefit the, the entirety of the nootropics community, which I have yet to, to actually announce for good reason. But trust me, everybody, when this goes live, It'll change the nootropics community and sort of the game in 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 general. It, it's gonna be huge. Let's just couch it as you'll have you'll you'll have some other options than than you have right now. Okay. So I'll give you the first stack. The first stack is forty milligrams bromantane, hundred milligrams teacrine. That's it. Forty milligrams bromantane, hundred milligrams teacrine. Bromantane to me is a very stimulant type of chemical. Like it just. You're, you're working on dopamine synthesis enzymes in a way that almost guarantees, so long as there's nothing else inhibiting it, that you're going to synthesize more dopamine as long as you've got the dopamine precursors in your in your diet or, or otherwise. I mean, you can even be supplementing with phenylalanine or, or tyrosine or, or even L-dopa to, to foster it quicker. Bromantine makes you synthesize dopamine. It, for me, it's also, though, not just about the synthesis of dopamine. It gives me energy. It, it, it like, gives my brain – it puts me in this place where I just I just want to work. I just, I just want to get things done. So adding that to 100 to teacrine, which is just this baseline energy optimization, and, and on top of the adenosine side because uh, that, that's what it's really working on, it is making you release a tad more dopamine. You've got this combo of dopamine that just makes you want to work. So that's my first stack, some bromatane and some teacrine, and I'm in. The second stack is a combination of bromatane, 9-MEBC, and Alcar. It is the following. It's 30 milligrams bromatane. It is 25 milligrams 9-methyl-B-carbolene, and it's 300 milligrams of acetyl-L-carnitine. So what am I doing here? I'm working on the dopamine side, and then I'm giving myself a little bit of central processing and cholinergic boost because depending on the task, I might I might actually need that. Right? On the dopamine side, you're not necessarily going to have better working memory or verbal fluency or whatever. You're really just going to be inspired to work, which is a good thing. But if you need extra, in this case, bringing in the Alcar sort of solves the problem. So I've got synthesizing more dopamine with bromantine. I am temporarily sensitizing dopamine receptor function with 9-MABC, and I'm sensitizing my response to anything stimulating. A anything around that time frame that is stimulating is going to be more stimulating because of 9-MABC. That's one of the things that it does. And then I've got Alcar in the mix, which is brain energy, right, back on the things that you need to get stuff done when you're ebbing <laughs> in terms of productivity and getting yourself to, to force productivity. And I'm donating a little bit of the the chemical structure of acetyl L-carnitine to brain acetylcholine production, effectively. So I've sort of got like a really well-rounded dopamine choline-centered stack in in those three compounds, and it just really puts me in a place where when I'm ebbing and I don't want to work, but I need to do stuff, where I can actually sit down and do what I have to do. The third stack I'm going to give you is a 
Modafinil centered stack. Now look, uh, I have FL Modafinil, I have R Modafinil, I have a Drafinil, which I rarely use these days. But I like tried and true, and I also know what regular Moda is going to do to me. And then I also understand how it's going to, basically when I should take it so that it doesn't disrupt my sleep. I actually haven't gotten that down with FL Moda and other analogs of Moda to, to a large extent. With regular Moda, I understand that as long as I take it before noon, I will be able to sleep pretty much fine, right? Three milligrams melatonin at nighttime and you know I should be good. But the interesting thing about what I'm doing in this stack is I'm adding a cholinergic. So my stack is the following. 100 milligrams regular Moda, regular tried and true Moda, 500 milligrams oxyracetam, oxyracetam. And then I'm usually taking 80 to 100 milligrams of CDP choline. That's, that's basically my dose, unless I'm taking really, really high dose racetams. That stack there turns me into an absolute productivity beast. It solves the problem of my ebbing in productivity. It makes me extremely motivated. It, it gives you that wakefulness energy that Moda gives you. I mean, it, it, there's really nothing like it because there's, well, I mean, there's really nothing working on the orexin peptide, neuropeptide system as Modafinil is. And yeah, I mean, I just, there's really, and then the cholinergic input, having the oxyracetam just adds this element of laser focus because that's essentially, if you can get it to function right, what oxyracetam does. So those are my three stacks that I use to extract you know, to, to foster productivity, to really force it when I'm not wanting to, to do work. Now, like dynamine, dynamine is another incredible energy compound that you could sort of throw into any one of those stacks, use it by itself with some theanine because dy dynamine's you know, pretty stimulating and, and that might just sort of get you in the place where your brain wants to work. But largely it is about the dopamine. Okay. Because if you think about the stuff you need to, you're sitting there and you're like, man, I, you know, there's a stuff I need to do. There's work I need to do. And I just don't feel like doing it. I'd rather do something fun or I'd rather do something that I, that right now, like I would enjoy doing. Think about that state. It's like, what do you need? You need brain energy. You need a positive state, like general feeling of well being, focused on the outcome, the results of what you're about to do is, is going to create for you and then have feelings of pleasure about that reward feelings of pleasure about the reward and that's all dopamine my friends that is strictly dopamine so you know one of the philosophical uh, sort of cornerstones of using nootropics from my perspective at least is that we are not limited to the fluxing states in terms of brain chemistry that we're feeling throughout the day. We're not limited to that, right? Because, you know, if we if we were, we would be like average people, right? We wouldn't get a whole lot done. You know, I mean, we, we would probably be just making it, you know, especially with everything that's gone on in the, in the country and in, in the world in the last year and a half. Like, it, it's a strain on people. But I, I don't, I never like the idea of being at the mercy of the state that my brain is at at a given time. So, you know, it was somewhere around seven years ago where I, I started really heavily getting into this whole notion of inducing states on cue. It's one of the major things that we work on when we're working with people on consulting basis on these neuroengineering consults. Because you can induce motivation on cue to do things. You can induce the brain state to sit down and, and get into something very cerebrally intensive that you're absolutely dreading doing. It's just about knowing the stacks. It's like knowing the, the chords to strike. An extremely advanced guitar player, the way that they move between frets and chords, the way they're moving their fingers, it, it's seamless. They know what chords to strike. Like my brother, he's an incredible guitar player. The brain is the same way. If you know what chords to strike, you can induce any, pretty much any state you want, including nearly inducing the state of meditation, which may be the topic of another podcast. So look, if you're ebbing in your productivity, there is a way to force yourself to want to be productive. You're not even forcing productivity. You're forcing yourself to want to be productive. And then you're there. Like, forget it. You're there. You're in. And you can get a lot done in, in that regard. And bromantane, 9 mebc dynamine, teocrine, alcar, Moda, all the aphenol analogs, these are great chemicals because we're focusing on the dopamine side of things. Thanks so much for listening, everybody. Go support us at livecortex.com. A pretty dopamine-centered stack is the Cortex stack, another stack that I use in these situations. Look, powerful for motivation, mental energy. 
the drive to get things done. Verbal fluency. And there's people that give speeches for a living. Like, there's a, if you go and I, not that any of you will or know folks there or whatever, but like a lot of these speakers on the general national speaker circuit, they take Cortex. It's like one of the groups of people that ended up understanding the stack was was good, and they take it to speak because it makes you verbally fluent. Get Cortex Live, Cortex.com. Do auto ship to get it shipped to you automatically without you doing anything for cheaper. Every month at the same time. Just nootropics shipped to your doorstep. Just nootropics shipped to your doorstep. Uh, new to nootropics, nootropics ground zero is where you have to be. A couple years in, want to ascend to the six-year mark, nootropics masterclass is where you have to be. And again, if you're a, if you're a business person, corporate or entrepreneur, young, middle-aged, older, doesn't matter, and you want to work with me on this capacity for inducing states on cue, like really developing high-level nootropic sex that are extremely targeted to your brain first, and then secondly, what it is you have to do, work with me on a three and a half month or a six month basis. We are also working with post Adderall users. I mean, folks that have taken pharmaceutical stimulants and they've got diminishing returns at this point, their brains are not functioning normal at all and motivation to be productive and to uh, like, you know, chase goals like they used to have is absolutely non-existent. We can first fix it give you a better baseline, and then optimize on top of that with nootropics. Thank you so much for listening, everybody. So much more content to come soon. Uh, I appreciate that you guys are here. You know, recently, um, YouTube killed our channel for like a day. It's back up, thankfully. But I wanted to do more podcasts. In the event that that happens again, we can just continue putting content here on the iTunes channel. Talk to you next time.